As per the World Health Organization, over 4.5 million people die from cancer each year in the world. The estimated number of cancers in India each year is about 7 lakhs and over 3.5 lakh people die of cancer each year. As per the recent reports, of all the deaths that had happened in Kerala, 54% of which is due to cancer alone. Apparently, there are only two cancer centers and eight radiotherapy centers in Kerala. And unfortunately, no such facilities are available in the lower middle part of the state. In order to address this rising health crisis, the Malankara Orthodox Church decided to establish the St. Gregorius International Cancer Care Center at Parumala, which also runs the St. Gregorius Medical Mission Hospital in Parumala in the Patanamthitta district, which is a project of the Malankara Orthodox Church established in 1975. This is a multi-speciality hospital and has over 300 beds, 60 reputed doctors and 30 specialized departments catering to the medical needs of people, especially to the poor and underprivileged in central Kerala. The foundation stone of the Cancer Care Center at Parumala was laid on 24th August 2009 in the presence of His Holiness Moran Mar Basilius Marthoma Didymus I, the then Supreme Head of the Church, in the presence of all other metropolitans and church leaders. The proposed 3 lakh square feet structure which is spread across over 3 acres accommodates Block A, B and C of the Cancer Centre and also the Service Block. With effective planning and dedication of a committed team, 90% of the civil structure of Block A and Block B is completed while 95% of C Block is also completed. Over 90% of Service Block is also completed. The proposed cancer center is a 10-story building with two levels at the basement and eight levels above the ground. Basement 2 has the linear accelerator used for the external beam radiation for cancer patients, cyber knife, PET CT, stimulator, nuclear medicine and HDR room. Basement 1 will have two blood banks, 11 cancer OP consultation rooms, electrical rooms, central and medicine stores and laundry. The reception, main lobby, laboratories, pharmacy, radiology department with mammography, CT and MRI scan rooms are planned in the first level of the cancer center. A statue of the patron saint, Saint Gregorius of Parmala will also be installed in this level. Level 2 will have 8 operation theatres with state-of-art facility, 2 ICUs, pre- and post-anesthetic rooms spread across an area of 31,700 square feet. Level 3 will house the chemotherapy deluxe and standard rooms and general wards too. According to the structural plan, in level 4, 5 and 6, there will be 106 standard single rooms, 31 deluxe rooms and nurses stations. Also inpatient wards are planned in these levels. Level 7 spreads across an area of 29,456 square feet, will accommodate the child stay, occupational therapy, nutrition consultation room and accounts section. Level 8 will have the seminar room, executive rooms, including the CEO and manager offices. Consolidated Construction Consortium Limited, Chennai, is a civil contractor of this project and the revised amount of CCCI is 51 crore of which 26.34 is paid and the work is already completed. 24.24 crore work is yet to be finished. 10 international companies' contractual agreements have been signed and major installation works have been assigned. Major works like electrical installation worth rupees 6 crore, 12 lakhs 62,510 is done by Technomark Trivandrum. GE Healthcare is responsible for the installation of PET CT and gamma camera costing up to 7 crore 25 lakhs. Linear accelerator and bulky therapy worth rupees 9 crore 45 lakh will be installed by Elector. According to the current progress of work and efforts, the partial completion of the cancer care center from the basement 2 level to level 4 is anticipated in January 2016. This partial commissioning will cost up to rupees 100 crores. Through various sources of income by 30 July 2015, a sum of rupees 42 crores have been collected. To further speed up the work and to meet the completion deadlines, various immediate fundraising methods have been implemented. Interest-free loans from individuals and church institutions is one such way of collecting immediate funds. Donations through coupon has been started and is well received by the people and this will be continued to generate donations for the project.
An innovative Cancer Suraksha membership card scheme is started wherein with a nominal payment from an individual they will get a treatment cover from the cancer center. Apart from all these, to cater to the huge financial expenses in the near future, we aim to venture out for corporate social responsibility tie-ups with corporates, industrial houses and other business groups. We believe that through effective teamwork, systematic planning and with your support, we can accomplish this project. A befitting monument to St. Gregorius of Paramala. We invite your participation, ideas and large-hearted support to complete the Cancer Center project. That will be a beacon of medical care to the millions, especially to the poor and the underprivileged in our country.